So we have our little gadget that we made last night, and that gets mounted, mounted, mounted on the uh, Picatinny valve on top of the scope. Give me two seconds, and then we have it mounted on the scope. So we take our phone, our smartphone, which has a metal plate in the back, like I've showed you. Hold on, I'll be back in a sec. So we have our smartphone, lights on, so it's and there we go. It's as simple as that. Moving it on. Off. Okay. So now your smartphone is now your night vision. So what we'll do now is we'll rig the camera up on the scope and show you it in action. Back in a sec. Right. There's the camera. That just it's got a little um board camera in there, it's the one everyone uses. Um a bit of drainage kit. Well that pushes onto the end of the scope. Now in here, thanks to a guy on YouTube, Andy RC, he put me onto this little gadget here. And it's called the Easy Cap. It's a little capture device and it converts um, analog data which comes from the camera into digital via this micro USB so you put your micro USB and then that allows you to send the data to your phone so you've got the easy cap which is in there I think that was about five pounds we connect our phone I need to do that with um, two hands so give me a sec I'll be back so we've got our easy cap which is capturing the data from the camera which is transferring it our smartphone and the mount is movable you can position it wherever you like and to record if you wanted to record you go to this little app, AZ Screen Capture, compliments of uh, Andy RC. Turn on your Easy Cap software. There's your signal. Just move that to one side and start recording. This will record sound as well. So we'll just dry fire a shot. Nothing in the chamber. Sorry about this footage, but it's. That's how to use your smartphone. Now that's recording, and you can stop the record by pushing that little red button twice. And there's your video. This will record 
sound as well. So, we'll just dry fire a shot. There's nothing in the chamber. Sorry about this footage, but it's... That's how to use the smart clear if part of this. With the camera. Stop the record by pushing that little red. I'm going to turn that off. Get rid of that. Now we're back to the scope cam. IR illuminator, rat towel. Three different settings. Obviously I won't be, it looks a lot clearer on the uh, scope because it's, I mean I've got the flash on so it's not really, uh, it's not the best video, but that's it, HW100, two cables. So this is now recording. Fire up the easy cap. And there we go. Bear in mind this is a nighttime camera, so in the daytime it's going to be really bright because the IR filter has been taken off. So it's just pulling in every bit of light. So yeah, oh, my battery is getting low. Zoom in on the scope. Oh, and also, what's not helping is that's through glass. So we'll take it out in the garden, see if we get a clearer shot, clearer picture. Zoom in on the scope. As I say, this has had the IR filter taken off, so in daylight it's not the best. If I was just, I, I would just use my smartphone normally. But there you go. All run through USB. I'm happy with that.